Hi everyone, today is kind of a big day because Star Stable is finally updating the Lipazon horse. Now, as we know, I am a huge fan of the Gen 2 Lipazon horse. That is my favorite horse breed in the game, and I feel like it's kind of a lot to compete with. So, if Star Stable's able to do better than Gen 2, then that'd be great. But we'll just have to wait and see, so let's check it out. This is the final product, apparently. Okay. I'm just gonna watch and, uh, okay, we have a white gray horse. From the front, it doesn't really look like a Lipazon, but from the sides it does. Wait, go back to that trot. I need to see the trot. Okay, it's a nice trot. I feel like Gen 2 had a better trot though. So, the canter's nice. The canter looks nicer than Gen 2. That gallop is really pretty. I don't know if the full gallop is really right, but it is pretty. Here's a jump. I mean, I, you know, it's a horse jump. I feel like you can't really mess that up. I feel like the stops lately are so unrealistic. Like, I feel like if you had your horse going, like, full speed, the stop would be pretty extreme, you know? Because, like, I've seen horses stop, and it's, you know, kind of extreme when they have to stop after going full speed so yeah i wish the stops on the horses lately were kind of more dramatic that rear um i feel like it's a little bit too low to the ground the special move is nice though that's cool can i just say i'm really happy that it has a roman nose because like that's what a lot of spanish horses have this is the first color it's a white gray yeah i don't know how i feel i i don't know that's a really okay so, from, okay, it's just the angle, but that's really, really pretty. I love that. But the horse just looks so, like, he looks really thick. There is lipas on horses that I feel like look like that, but I feel like the Gen 2 was a lot leaner. Like, right now, this looks very, like, chonky horse, which is fine. Kind of cute, but... You know, the Lipazon is my favorite, so I kind of want it to be, like, perfect, you know? Okay, this one's, like, a dapple. No, I think it's a flea bitten gray. I wouldn't buy this one. I would buy the the first one they showed. This one's nice. I feel like the Gen 2 version of it had a better mane, though, for the dapple gray. This one's really pretty. This looks like a horse that I want it to buy in real life. Okay, this one's a lot nicer. Yeah, it's really pretty. Okay, here's a bay with no white markings, I think. Okay, so my favorite Lipazon was the the Cleveland Bay color. It was like a bay Lipazon horse, and I really loved him. So I feel like there's kind of a lot to compete with here, but this does look really good. We know I love bay horses, so. Yeah, that's really pretty. That's really nice. I just feel like they're so like chubby and I don't know why okay let's hope that he has no white markings oh he does okay but I think the gen 2 one did so we'll let this slide yeah he's nice I just don't like feel anything for them though they look really good it's just that like from certain angles they don't so let's compare it to the real life version so as we could see the real life lip is honor I feel like they have a really, like, wider body than other horses do. So, Star Stable making the Lipazoner horse a little bit thicker than other horses, I guess, would be right. I'm just used to seeing the Gen 2 model, because the Gen 2 model was, like, really lean. But not all Lipazon horses look really thick. Like, some of them look pretty normal. Like, this one obviously is... Like, I feel like a regular horse. But they did get the face right, I feel like. I f it's just something, I don't know. I just don't feel anything for it. Like, I definitely will probably buy the colors if I have Star Queens too. But I just feel like the Gen 2 was better. But I'm also an old player, so yeah. I'm just really used to seeing that, like, lean lips on horse. And by the way, I've seen lips on horses in real life before, okay? Like, I, I know what they look like. And I feel like a lot of them are pretty lean. 
However, there is this, like, photo that shows the Lipizzan horse like this and how it's built, and it looks a lot like the Star Stable model, so, you know, it's pretty much like the real one. I guess, like, the one they made for Gen 3 is pretty much like the real version. Yeah, I just think the Gen 2 looked a lot better, but that's just my opinion, so yeah, I don't know. It's really hard to, I feel like, make horses that I'm going to love if it's going to be, like, Gen 3 after we had Gen 2. I feel like a lot of them are really great upgrades. Like, the Arabian for Gen 3 is really great. The English Thoroughbred's really amazing. The new Shire we have is way better than Gen 2. So is the Fjord, as well as the Paint Horse. Yeah, I just feel like it's kind of hard to compete with though. I don't know. I just don't feel anything for this horse. I I do, but I don't. It's like, you know, I kind of don't really care about it. Like Gen 2 for me was the best version. And lately I've been really thinking about how much I love Old Star Stable. So I'm probably going to just always like Gen 2 better, I guess. Because although the Gen 3 looks more realistic, I'm just really used to the way Gen 2 looked. I feel like they looked more, I guess, like, alive? Maybe it's like their eyes had more soul to them? I have no clue. But if you know what I mean, then cool. But yeah, in terms of, like, animations, though, this new horse looks very much realistic. Like, not to drag the Frisian again, but, like, a lot of players wanted a really elegant looking horse, and then we got the Frisian, and it makes goofy faces, which is annoying. But this horse, I'm pretty sure might be a really good favorite among dressage players because it is so serious looking and also is pretty fancy, so yeah, that's just my opinion. Don't fight over it. It literally does not matter, so whatever. Anyway, bye!